hello guys welcome back hope you all are doing fine today i'm going to share with you guys a life hack for acrylic portrait artist that makes portraits like this just a cakewalk if you are a regular viewer of this channel you might already be knowing that portrait making is not that simple but if you ask me about one hack that has helped me a lot throughout my portrait making journey, it is priming the canvas with color. Now, like many other artists, I too prime my canvas with gesso white. Some artists prefer going over the canvas with 5 to 7 coats sanding in between to get that really smooth texture. But I don't do that. I buy canvas that usually comes pre-primed with gesso. Before using, I apply one more coat of gesso over it and be done with it. Many artists then will sketch over the canvas and start working on it. Some artists apply color, usually a neutral one, like grey, just for the sake of not working over a white canvas. But here you can do one thing that can really simplify your process of portrait making. I will explain it to you with my latest work here, the portrait of Zoe Saldana. Zoe Saldana is a black actress and in the reference pic you can see that for predominant part of the face, the color is a mix of burnt sienna and yellow ochre. The hack here is just to paint the whole canvas with that color and sketch over the color primed canvas and then paint over it. I will take you guys through the whole stepwise process to make it clear. Color blocking particularly becomes easy. Usually in color blocking we use different shades of skin tones to block in the colors in the face. but. Uh, here the color used is a genuine skin tone which is color corrected and value corrected. So the priming acts as a first layer of color blocking or in other words the effort and time required for the color blocking is reduced to half. This is one area where the hack has not much role. Detailing the facial features should be done meticulously as it is important for likeness. There are different hacks for reducing the amount of detailing and the effort in detailing but still achieving the likeness and overall appeal of the portrait. Hopefully I can discuss about those hacks to you guys in the coming videos. Another area where the hack is very effective is the background. General approach for background is to have some colors used in the face in the background also. This binds the whole piece together. Here the mid-tone of face itself is the background. Hence minimal touch of some complementary colors here and there will do the trick. Overall background work for this portrait took me less than 5 minutes. Dress usually is done hastily and don't consume much time.
Here you can do either in detailed or abstract style. Hopefully I can do a video in which the detailing is less or skip and hair is done in an abstract style in the coming weeks. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have made it up to this in the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell icon for notifications. That's all from the video guys. See you all in the next. Till then take care and bye bye.